tonight's dinner is a budget friendly Mexican dish I call Frito Pie. Start by browning some ground beef or ground turkey and add a couple packs of taco seasoning meat and layer that in the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. Um, if you have a family of say four, I would just use one pound of beef. Uh, if you have a larger family, you could use two pounds. I want leftovers, so I made two pounds of taco meat. Next, layer a can of refried beans on top of your taco meat. Easier said than done. It's hard, a little hard to spread, but now if you don't like refried beans, just leave this out. And if there's something you like uh, better, add that. You could do like a rice. You could, you could probably do a guacamole. That might be good. But all those things will kind of change the price. There. Now I'm going to add the next layer, which is going to be a can of corn. Same thing, if you don't like corn, leave it out. And this is some homemade salsa. I'm going to add that to the top. Uh, probably, that's probably about a cup. Whatever brand you like, sprinkle that on the top. This will give it a nice crunch. We'll just finish that bag off. And then, not a lot because you don't want your Fritos to get soggy. But just sprinkle a little bit of cheese. Over the top. Here is my plate of delicious Frito pie. For dinner tonight, I made chicken tostadas. Uh, I have these tostada shells. You can get these at Aldi, uh, Dollar Tree, and it, any regular grocery store. And I just cut up some chicken, added some taco seasoning, and put it on this tostada. Now I'm going to put, I have it, just a can of refried beans. This is so simple, and you know what? Everybody can make it however they want. And it's fun for kids, too, because it's like make your own pizza, uh, Mexican style. So I'm going to put this on here, and then you just add whatever toppings. This is that Mexican cheese. 
I'm going to put that there. You could also use um, just cheddar cheese, any kind of cheese you like. I'm going to put some green onions on mine. I pretty much like all this stuff. Some black olives. Some tomatoes. Whatever you put on a taco is what I'd put on this. Uh, if you want it to be less expensive, you use less ingredients, more expensive. If you have extra funds, you can uh, have more ingredients. I'm going to put the lettuce on top. And on the side, I'm going to put some sour cream. And I'm going to put some guacamole because I had it in my... Uh, refrigerator and then I'm gonna put a little drizzle a little salsa over mine and that is our dinner of chicken tostadas the next recipe I'm gonna make is called tamale pie and I'm gonna start by spraying my pan with uh, cooking spray and then I'm going to mix two cornbread jiffy mixes according to the package instructions and I'm also going to make one pound of taco meat I'm going to add this can of corn to my jiffy mix Stir it up and pour half of it into the bottom of this casserole. Next I'm going to spoon the taco meat over my uh, cornbread and corn mixture and then sprinkle cheese over that. Now I'm going to sprinkle cheese over top of the taco meat and next I'm going to put the other half of the cornbread corn mixture on top of that. It's ready to go in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to cook it between 20 and 30 minutes. I will comment down below how long it actually baked for. Here is the tamale pie. I had some tomatoes some guacamole and sour cream I put on the side and a little of the Mexican cheese. Doesn't that look delicious? So that is all three of my Mexican dishes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Saving a Dime at a Time.